welcome to British Columbia. It's time for buns and guns. Please grab some dumbbells, some ankle weights if you have them, uh, your mat, and we're going to get started. Please start your fitness tracker, grab some water, and as always, if you like to have music on in the background, go ahead and put on your favorite music. We're going to begin with a squat press. Uh, so I'm going to grab a 20 pound dumbbell and we're going to be sitting back into our heels all the way down, pressing up for 10 and down. Good. Up and down. That's it. Keep going. Press. Squat. So this is getting your shoulders and your glutes. more. One more. It's a little breezy today. And good. Set it down for a moment. Whew, feels like it's going to rain, but I hope it doesn't rain. Not right now. We're going to do that again. 10 squat press. Please go ahead and pick up your dumbbell. Here we go. 10. day going today? Ours is going pretty well. We're excited. We're going to a um, kind of like an ABBA concert, but it's not real ABBA, obviously. Four, three more. Three, two more. One more. I think this will be the girls' first concert, so they're very excited. All right, set that down. Catch your breath. Do you remember your very first concert? I think mine was Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Jay and I together. I think that was around maybe 1999 or 2000 in Toronto. All right, our next exercise, 10 deadlift row. So if you have a barbell, go ahead and use a barbell. If not, grab some dumbbells. So we're going to keep our back nice and straight. Keep your weights nice and close to your shins. Row and stand. Hinging at the hip, row for, we're doing 10 of these, by the way. Nine. Row and stand. So this is getting your lower back, your hamstrings, rear delts. Good, five more. Four more. Three more. Two more, good job. One more. It's called a deadlift row combo. And you can bend your knees, set your weights down. Good job. We're going to do that again. So we have 10 deadlift row. Ready? If you need more time, feel free to pause the video and come back when you're ready. All right. Here we go. Back nice and straight. Row. And stand. Slight bend in the knees. We have five more. Five. Are you feeling that pull in your hamstring? Four, I am. Three more. Two more. Last one. And good job. Set your weights down. Excellent. All right. Next we have alternating curtsy lunge. So first, without adding any weight, curtsy lunge 
is stepping back and down, kind of like a curtsy or a bow, and you're alternating legs. I'm making sure I'm not gonna fall in the pool. Now, if you wanna start with that, if you're just beginning, you can start with alternating curtsy lunge, just like this. As you feel you're getting a little bit stronger, we're going to add dumbbells and we're going to hammer curl, so bicep, lunge, bicep, and lunge. We're going to do 20 of these, bicep curl, and lunge. Good job. Alternating curtsy lunge with a hammer curl. Shoulders are back. We have 10 more. Ten. You can hear the chimes. Keep going. Five to go. Five. Four. Three more. Two more. Try not to swing your weights, control them. Last one. Hammer curl. Good job. And please set your weights down. Nice job. All right, next we have wide stance jump squats, and we're doing 20 of them. So feet are nice and wide, dropping our bum down low, and jump for 10, nine, a little bit deeper, four, three, two, and break, good. We're gonna do that 10 again, jump squats, Catch your breath. We should be huffing and puffing already. All right, here we go, 10 more jump squat. Feet are nice and wide. Sink down low for 10, nine. Five, four, three, two, last one. Good job. All right, please come on down to the mat. Or if you have it, you can use a bench and a barbell for hip thrusts. I don't have those here at home, but I do, do use them at the gym. All right, glute bridge. So we're laying on our back, lifting up, squeezing our glutes and lower. Up and down. Good, squeeze. There's 10, we have 60 total, so we have 50 more, please. If you need a break, go ahead and break. We have 40 more when you're ready. I can hear the hummingbirds at the theater. Wow, a little breezy. <laughs> Keep going. Should be burning. Twenty more. Just one second. I'm gonna sit up. I felt like something fell on me. Hopefully not a bug. All right, twenty to go. Twenty. Squeeze.
nice tight firm buns last set of ten ten nine come on you got it eight seven five four keep going three two one more and great job all right set that dumbbell down for a moment now we're going into your triceps, so skull crusher. We're going to use either a heavier kettlebell or dumbbell, something that challenges you. And we're laying on our back for 60 skull crusher. So you can either hold your dumbbell on the ends or overlap your hands in the center. And then we're gonna hinge at the elbow down and up. So we're not doing a whole pullover action. Just a slight bend at the elbow, down towards your skull, and up. And we're working this part of your arm here, the tricep muscle. Down and up. Good job. There's 10, we have 50 more. If you've ever done this with a barbell, so a bar, uh, they call that, instead of a skull crusher, they call it French press, which makes me think of coffee. Mm. Tricep should be burning. Go ahead and break if you need. We still have 30 more. And break. Good work. 20 more. Here we go. Last set of 10. No big deal, we've got this. Here we go for 10, nine, eight, keep going, seven, five, four, three, two, and one. We got them in, good job, set that down. All right, next we're going into jump lunge. If you cannot do jump lunge, you could also do alternating reverse lunge. We have 20 of these. You break them into sets of 10. Go ahead and break. Good. Nice deep breath, we're gonna do 10 again. Are you ready? Here we go. 10, good job. All right, come on down to the mat. Now if you have ankle weights, we're going to put them on now. If you don't have ankle weights, you could also use a fit boot or uh, an orange band. All right, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. And we have 40 kickbacks on each side. My triceps are burning. All right, you can either go from your elbows or you can go from your hands, whichever, however you're more comfortable. I'm starting with my right leg. We're gonna bring that knee into your chest and kick straight up, in, out. Kind of like a donkey kick. And we have 40 on each side, squeezing as you lift your foot up to the sky, squeeze your bum cheeks, bring it in, squeeze.
squeeze, lower, up, and down, good. So we're gonna stay on this side for 40 and then switch. So we're already halfway, we have 20 more on this leg. Guns and guns, last set of 10. Here we go, 10, nine, more. Two more. One more. Good job. All right, sit back, stretch it out, and we're going to switch legs. Mm, that stretch feels good. All right, here we go. On to your other side for 40. All right, are you ready? Here we go. Squeeze. Up and lower. Good job. There's 10, 30 more. break if you need to. We're halfway. We have 20 more to go. Ready? All right. Squeeze. 20. Keep going. Last set of 10. Doesn't that stretch feel nice? All right, good job. Come on up to standing. And we can take our ankle weights off. We're going into 10 burpees with an up-down plank. Now, if you're just starting out, you could also do a caterpillar. So caterpillar is when you're standing at your mat and you walk your hands all the way out and then you walk them back up. So that's a good beginner, you know, kind of like a burpee. Now I'm gonna show you, for those who are ready, burpee, and we're gonna add down, down, up, up, and we're gonna do nine more. So jump, down, 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 up, up, keep going. Five more. Good job, five. Four. Three more. We got this. Three. Two more. Last one. Again, if you need more time, go ahead and pause the video. Catch your breath. Nice deep breath in through your nose. 
out through your mouth. I think my allergies are finally getting better. I'm not sniffling near as much. My eyes aren't as itchy. That is until fall when these allergies come back. All right, next we have one arm row. So you want to use a heavier dumbbell or kettlebell, something that challenges you. I'm using a 20 pound dumbbell. Now you can either hold onto a bench or a chair or a table, or you can step your left foot out. And with your right hand, we're rowing back. We're gonna do 20 on each side, row. Slow it down, squeeze that rear delt. Keeping your back nice and straight. There's 10, we have 10 more on this side and then we're gonna switch sides for 10, nine. Five, four, three, two, last one. Excellent, go ahead and set it down. All right, we're gonna switch to your other arm. So this time I'm stepping my right leg out and I'm picking up the dumbbell with my left hand. Back nice and straight. Row back for 20, nice and slow. We have 10 more, please. What weight are you using? Make sure it's challenging for you. Challenge equals change. Ready for five. Four more. Good job. Three more. Two more. Last one. Excellent. Go ahead and set your weight down. Don't slam it. All right, guess what? You've just completed one full round of our Buns and Guns workout. Please go back to the top and repeat one more time and then make sure to stretch. We'll see you back here next time from British Columbia. Have an amazing day.